For 300 years, the medical profession has been determining human body temperatures by means of thin glass tubes called clinical thermometers, deriving from those temperatures very important hour-to-hour -hour information about the body's state of health. At industrial plants like that of Medical Research Institute Incorporated of Cincinnati, even venerable, well-proven medical tools like the thermometer undergo endless testing and study for possible improvement. Here being assembled is the result of the research carried out by this organization, an instrument called the thermometer, which applies the principles of electronic heat measurement, long in use by industry, to the measurement of body temperatures. We see a unit being tested for accuracy by being tied in with a heat source whose temperature is controlled to within hundredths of a degree. Readings are determined not by a column of mercury as in a conventional thermometer, but by tiny uncanny devices called thermistors. In actual use, the highly accurate readings are transmitted from thermistor to dial by power from these little mercury batteries which are said to be good for anywhere from a hundred thousand to a million readings. Now, assembly is completed. Here being prepared is the metal probe, the part that comes in contact with the body. Into it goes a minute thermistor. The probes are tested and calibrated with the same degree of accuracy as the thermometer proper. Then the electrical leads that will link the two are welded permanently together. Now with wires all attached, the open end of the probe is sealed off. Still another test, this time to make sure the finished probe not only detects but also reports temperatures accurately. To give the instrument maximum usefulness, a special board has been devised on which is mounted equipment used by the nurse in recording not only a patient's temperature but also his pulse and respiration and other data. A stopwatch fits into its special holder. At Cincinnati's Bethesda Hospital, the new idea is demonstrated to department heads who decide to give it a long, careful trial. In medicine, nothing can be accepted any other way. We'll probably hear more about the electronic thermometer that doesn't have to be shaken down, can't break, can be used in the dark, and gives its readings instantaneously.